Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a quick uh, video here on my Maker Fair project. I just did a water change on the reservoir, so I thought I'd do a little sneak preview on everything. So, since it looks like uh, all the plants and everything's doing pretty well, we'll start off with a little handheld pH meter I built out of a LCD screen and a uh, Leo Fee pH meter, one of my pH meters. It's got a rechargeable battery, you just kind of plug it in through like an iPhone charger or something and you can just charge it up, use it anywhere. Pretty handy. Um, I'll do a, another quick overview. Down here we got the reservoir where I got all my water stores in here. Uh, I got a pump in there to keep it kind of not stagnant. Uh, it doesn't really matter since I keep it sterile, but I like to try and keep the oxygen level up as high as possible. So I got a pump uh, kind of keeping the surface broken up and trying to dissolve oxygen. It's basically just a quick built table out of two by fours and a liner to contain this, the mist. Uh, that's how this works. It's basically using a very high pressure pump to drive the nutrients into a mist when it sprays. And as you can see, it, it it causes the roots to kind of go into overdrive. These This first section here actually has changed quite a bit since I looked at it this morning. Um, there's quite a bit of root, root growth and it's pretty interesting to be able to watch it almost hourly as it changes. Even the strawberry is starting to drop its roots out so that's pretty cool too. Got two tomatoes in there. So there's the, the mist. Uh, you can kind of see it I don't know, it's hard, but it was just floating up right there. But anyways, that's the root structure of these plants. And there's the two tomatoes and the strawberry, which is actually growing a lot better than the one I tried last time. So I'm happy with that. Basically the heart of everything is a SureFlow high pressure pump which fills an accumulator tank and uh, it draws from the reservoir so we pump up the accumulator tank I'm running at about 80 psi right now there's a lot of people that actually run these higher but just for simplicity and not wanting to burn my pump out so quick I'm only running it up to about 80 psi when I when I pump it up I have a pressure switch right there that's just kind of loosely hanging because I've been adjusting the pressure trying to f fine tune it and our solenoid which controls the spray. Ideally you'd like to have this closer but due to my drain back loop I don't get too much runoff especially since my sprayers are actually down below. So if you look down my sprayers are down so any run on will actually just flow back into the reservoir. It does present a problem when the roots get down there, but I end up trimming them because uh, the, the root rot starts getting into place. As you can see from here, the moisture does find a way to get up onto the net pots. It's, it's pretty interesting. It's like a fog that gets created in there. I've been uh, testing it with this. As you can see, the water has been uh, getting up through the crack there and actually water saturating this box. So. It does a pretty good job of getting everything in there. Um, yeah, I got a quick controller I threw together that just gives me some readouts on my pH and everything. I actually need to recalibrate it and uh, reset it. But it gives uh, the temperature for the outside, the humidity for the outside, the real-time temperature on the clock, and of course it's all driven off of a 12-volt system. So this actually can be ran off of an inverter which is generally what I do. Uh, my battery is kind of a mess in here, but there's the inverter and battery. I have to replace the battery, so I uh, got everything disassembled. And I'm actually getting everything ready for Maker Fair right now, so it's kind of a mess everywhere. And I'm hoping I get everything ready in time since I have to drive out there. So we'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, there's our PPMs right now. And uh, I tie in, tend to run around uh, 1200. Uh, my water is about 220 out of the tap, so I'll bump it up by about a thousand. 
and uh, actually you can get away with a lot less with this type of system. But that's pretty much the gist of everything. It's really simple to run. Um, it takes a little bit of time to plan and build everything, but once you're up and running, it, it really promotes root growth quite well. I'm impressed so far, so I thought I'd put a video. Yeah, um, if you like, uh, please subscribe and uh, post some comments on the channel. Thank you.